This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, Howie 60 in North Georgia. This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I'm riding Highway 60 in North Georgia, going through Dahlonega up to, uh, I guess it's called uh, Morganton. I've not been on Highway 60 yet. I've heard it's a great ride. I'm looking forward to it. Looks like I'm supposed to be slowing down right now. I'm not a big fan of slowing down a lot in a corner. But I, I am in Dahlonega. There's a song Dahlonega, but I think she's talking about a different Dahlonega. There's the signs here, 60, 19, oh, I don't understand 60. Salonica Highway 60 North. And it's also Highway 19. Which I think 400 is also 19. 19 does some weird stuff. One thing I've found around here in Georgia is the roads don't do what you think they would do. Oftentimes, to follow a road, you got to turn right. The road goes straight, but it's a different road going straight. you got to turn right or turn left. There's one uh, old Alabama road I take going to church. And that comes to a T, but it's not really a T because old Alabama road goes left. And I was on another road, it was Peachtree Road, all of a sudden it's Peachtree Boulevard, and I turn left and I'm on Peachtree Parkway. So I've learned here in Georgia, about every other road is named Peachtree something. There we go, look at that, Walmart Way. Wow, we got some crosses here, World War II, World War One, Vietnam, Korea. Oh, this looks pretty. Look at that. We got a lake over here. It's Phoenix. I ain't stopping enough. I uh, went to work today. Today's Saturday, the, uh, the 15th of June. Went to work today, like I do just about every day, except Sunday. Um, I went to work, tried to get some stuff done, and realized I just, I just don't have it in me. I need, uh, I need a break. I need to do some rides. Uh, go, wingers. So, uh, I don't know. I think after about three hours being at work, like, man, I'm just not being efficient. I'm just getting tired of this. So I shall leave and go for a ride. And I just last night, I was at the uh, Ice Cream Social for Chapter B, Georgia, G-W-R-R-A. And they told me, well, next time you go up to the Dragon, you know, have them, have them take you up Highway 60. It's a good ride. And so when I thought, oh, I need to go for a good ride, I said, well, where's, where's Highway 60? And how much of it can I do in an afternoon? So where I'm going is... Uh, about an hour and a half away from where I'm staying right now. So, this is uh, not like, I've not been riding for hours. If you look, uh, my tripdometer, 48 miles. I, I filled up right around the corner from where I'm staying. So, I mean, I've only been riding for a little bit to get out here. So, I'm waiting for the curves. I need some curves, man. I've been riding my motorcycle a lot. This is the only vehicle I have here in Georgia right now. Uh, I did sit in a uh, four-wheeled vehicle uh, a couple weeks ago. We had a little field trip at work. Actually, I say a couple weeks ago. I've done it twice. I had a site visit um, earlier this week. So I was in a four-wheeled vehicle. And then we had a little, uh, I don't know what, what to call it, but basically like a site visit, but for uh, for the Path 400. They're doing some addition to that near where we work, and so a group of us all 
gathered in a little vehicle and uh, drove over there and checked out the construction, how, see how things are going, and, and hear a little bit about what Path 400 is. Uh, it's a walking multi-use path, so not motorcycles, but uh, bicycle friendly. Got two wheels. Oh, I think um, I think I was supposed to turn there. That's business sixty. Oh, sixty. Okay. Oh, okay. So Delonica is actually a little bit off of sixty, or at least Delonica proper. A sign right there says about gold diggers. So the church I go to, my understanding, there used to be a gold mine there. That church. It is a gold mine for scripture, but uh, there's a gold mine in the parking lot. They haven't dug it up yet. I don't know. I would imagine if uh, imagine there's not much gold left in there. It was a mine, right? So we got a 35 mile an hour curve coming up. I don't know any of these roads. Well, pig scraping? Well, my foot anyway. I didn't quite reach the pig, but my foot was scraping. Yeah, baby. Oh, and I do have that car tire on there. I am dark siding. Don't think I switched for some crazy reason. I gotta create another video about uh, experience I've had. And I took this car tire cross country and it's treated me quite well. Uh, daily driver. I gotta do, um, oh, what, about 36 miles a day for my commute. That's a round trip. A little bit out of practice on these curves. I wake up and do some better uh, curve link in here. I spent so much time on Georgia 400 like one curve in there. That's not so bad because you can obviously that curve about sending five miles an hour. But it's good to get out of here. Not much traffic, at least not right now. Now, I may have mentioned another video. I'm not a big fan of peg scraping because if you're scraping your pegs, you got no more lean. If you got a little more lean, that means you're done. If that wasn't good, you're just done. The car is up here riding. I don't know if they're out here riding 60 or they're up dragging. I don't know. Saturday, I might have went up yesterday for the dragon this morning, heading back. Not too far away from the dragon. 25 mile an hour curve. Just a cycle. 25 mile an hour curve, and I don't know what's over here. Houses and stuff. There's one thing the dragon's definitely got an advantage over a lot of places is that uh, there's no driveways on that 11 mile stretch. I'll have to get up there when the weather's nice. Ride the dragon again in the dry weather. 
and then hit some other stuff. Just watched the video Memphis Mike put out a couple days ago um, on the Devil's Triangle. I, I didn't get a chance to watch part two yet, but it looks nice. Nice curvy room. I hear it's more technical than the Dragon. I am behind the car now. The car is not enjoying the curve as much as I am. If I'm with you, Memphis Mike. When I ride, I like to ride the curves. Now, I'll do a straight line. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I drove cross country and I hit an interstate. Um, I don't mind just kicking back ride. But, uh, man, I, I got to get in the curve. This car is not going to let me really get in is it? doing here? Oh, S2000. I like his little roadsters. I'd like to get me a Miata one day. Yeah, I know a lot of older people go to the trikes. I think I think I just go to the Miata. Got air conditioning and a heater. Uh, which way am I supposed to go? That's 19 and 9. I'm going to assume this is 60. Uh, that looks nice down that way, though. Yeah, there it is. Morganton. 35 miles of Morganton. That's not bad asphalt. Nice. I am still running around my Oregon plate. Got my Oregon State flag flying. Not Oregon State University, the state of Oregon flag. I think he's got a dog in the back. Hopefully the dog is uh, buckled up. Can't get out of those jeeps. Work zone. That doesn't seem so good. Oh, it's the end of the work zone. I got a dry pavement. Lots of motorcycles out. I don't know if dry pavement is as big a deal down here as it is up in Oregon. Oregon, we don't get dry pavement at all. Then. This does kind of remind me of 202. But it's dry. And we got some, uh, got some hills, some great curves. And I just need a good hamburger joint at the other end of the be my favorite ride. So far, I guess, Georgia. I haven't experimented much. I got lots of roads to ride here in Georgia. I mean, they spent about 30 minutes in my first Gold Wing meeting talking about all the different roads to do. And I took some notes. I took some notes, but I've not researched it yet. I've been working too much. I need to get out and make more videos. Gotta, gotta keep my priorities straight. And figure a safe time to pass the Jeep. Nice. I sure if I wasn't going slowly. I am going slowly. I'd like to go a little bit faster anyway. I did not research this road. Came out here slowly and the advice of a fellow winger. So I'm, uh, I'm out here just winging it. I just winging it. 
I don't have my GPS going. I did look at the map before I left, so I kind of have an idea of uh, where I was going. But as you can tell, no GPS on. No GPS on. Out here, shoot some video. Join Highway 60 North. I wonder how that's from the there join it though. Going so slow. Nice and curvy. Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't mean snake in the road. That means smile on your face. Except for if you're behind a Jeep. Jeeps are not known for their cornering ability. I sold Jeeps for a little while. I got a lot of good attributes. Cornering is not designed into them. I just not, not pass on any of these little spots. Just, uh, not what I consider safe. That's a little safe. Which is why um, I bought this new jacket. I just put it on about six, seven miles ago. I bought this jacket, Cycle Gear. It is a Satichi mesh jacket. It's a gold wing one. So it's uh, got all the professionally licensed by Honda. It says gold wing on it. So I'm officially now one of those guys that wear uh, clothing that has my motorcycle name on it. I am branded, I guess you could say. Love the gold wing though. Love the gold wing. And that cycle gear, went to cycle gear in Roswell, Georgia. And this thing was basically half off. So I uh, figured out what size would fit me best. And this is a black one. I prefer to have a high bid. Um, but I figure for half off, I can add some. Uh, high vis later uh, for the most part though since it's a mesh jacket I'll be wearing it when the weather is nice it does have some uh, reflective piping on it so that part's good that night get a little extra still not high vis for a high vis but I think these things only came in a couple colors I've only seen them in the black and then this blue and I wasn't real fond of that particular shade of blue I really like blue but that particular shade was not I don't know, just didn't do it for me. Uh, I just, I'd learn, want to pass them. I just don't know if there's a semi truck on our other side of the corner. I don't want to die today. I just want to have a little bit of fun. That is all. And all I have to do is like duck over there for a second. And I just, <clears throat> Probably wouldn't have to slow down. Now we're only doing 30. The overlook. It's like it's overgrown. It's an overgrown overlook. There are some pushes. Oh. There's another truck in front of me. That was one advantage we did have when we rode the Dragon in uh, April and the rain. There's nobody in front of us. I think we only saw, if I remember, I had like two vehicles on the Dragon besides the two of us. So when I get to Morgantown or a little further north, I'll have to make a decision. So I'm going to continue on, or if I'm going to try to ride this back down. My thought was to continue on. Uh, 74, you know, 76 looks uh, a little straighter. Not that I necessarily want to do straighter, but it's just going to be getting late. I'll be getting tired. Just going to hurry back. Go to sleep. Go to church tomorrow. Got church tomorrow. I get a lot of work done this week, and my wife uh, showing up on Friday. 
Friday the 21st. My wife comes to town. For the first time I have, uh, I've seen her in seven weeks. Seven weeks. So, if anybody, uh, in Oregon, moving to Oregon, wants to buy a house, I got a house for you. I'll sell it. I'll sell it to you. Uh, I'm going so slowly. This is not what I want to do with it. Like, oh, the curve wasn't quite so big, I can see through it. Go. Nope, gotta be safe. Gotta be safe here on Highway 60. And all the other roads you ride on. Safety is important. I might not be able to have a lot of fun on this road right now, but uh, if I drive safely, I will be able to have fun on it some other time. Who knows? Maybe I'll find a place to pass. Well, it was fun there for a little bit. This one's I'm going to go to Appalachian Trail. Go do some hiking. Go do some hiking. Hiking's fun. Don't you want to do some hiking instead of riding on this curvy road in your Jeep? Yes, you do. All right, Chattahoochee National Forest. I think I've been in there for a little bit now. So the speed limit is 35, so I got to not get too carried away. And I don't know these curves at all, but now it's up to me how much fun I have, how scary it might get, how thrilling. Ah, and how much air blows. Temperature, I think, dropped a little bit. 73, oh, it's nice. It was getting uh, in the upper 80s on 400. 73 is a good temperature. This vest jacket's pretty nice. It is a lot heavier than the uh, Dragon Jeans Kevlar shirt I've been wearing. But um, it's got the padding and all that kind of stuff. So it would be much better for me to have this in a crash than that Kevlar shirt. I, uh, I wanted the padding. As I thought about coming up here, it made me go, oh, I should check to see if I can afford a good mess jacket with some padding. This has a level two. I don't really know what that means, but the salesperson said that's the level right below the uh, the racing level. So it's like two plus is racing. And I was like, well, I don't you know racing. I'm not going to be doing no 100 miles an hour, round curves, what have you. But uh, I do want some padding. So it's got the elbow pads and the shoulder pads and uh, and the back pad. So we've got some scenery up here. Scenery? Look at the scenery. That's nice. Every once in a while, I'm reminded I'm uh, I'm going a little, a little faster than the speed limit. It does seem like here in Georgia the speed limit is a recommendation. I have not seen anybody pulled over for speeding. And I've seen not speeders. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. That's just what I'm observing here in Georgia. Not a Miata. Alright, everybody, look at the motorcycles down there. And the Miata. Alright, she's there at 35. School speed limit. 25. 28 miles of Morgan. So I got a lot more Highway 60 to go. Felt like forever I was behind that Jeep. Highway 60. About 25 miles outside of Morganton. Ooh, look at this. Nice. And a little dip. Where I need to work on my trail breaking. 
I gotta work on show part. I I break him. Hey baby. I like it. I believe Highway 60 is Red Beard approved. Don't eat uh, a big meal before coming on Highway 60. Can't recommend that. I'm not Red Beard approved. Red Beard says. Don't eat a big meal before Highway 60. This is Red Beard enjoying Highway 60. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.